Welcome to Dance Visualic app. So in this lesson, I would like a little bit to explain about arm styling, how to move your arms very beautifully. So number one idea for the arms is to make sure do not overdo your arms. The arms should be always extension of your body action. So that's number one to remember. But let's take a look at the arm closely. So we have a shoulder, we have elbow, we have wrist. We have all these three joints which should work in harmony in motion so we always let's say if we would like to open the arm we'll start with the shoulder then the elbow we will continue then the wrist and you will see if i would like to extend my arm of course it's you start with the shoulder but then when before you activate your elbow there is a certain degree of the arm rotation so the arm doesn't stay in the same position so it's a little bit rotary feel with it so you have shoulder elbow and then wrist and also because you have joints if you um, bend your joints very fast and uh, your angles will be very sharp and you want as much as possible to avoid it so remember like if you took classes ballet or maybe you saw it on tv or some on youtube how people when they do ballet they create the circles why because this is the most softest angles for your joints so this circle practicing creating circle with your arms is very helpful so the same idea we'd like to use here as we do our shoulder elbow we try to look for those rounded corners rounded shapes not a sharp shapes okay shoulder elbow then wrist now to bring your arm in you would want to use your shoulder again elbow then wrist and again we have shoulder elbow wrist shoulder elbow wrist the same let's try on the other arm so remember these three words shoulder elbow then wrist when you taking it back you have a shoulder elbow and wrist and as i mentioned before it's not only you're gonna extend your arm and collect there is a certain rotation of your arm happening with it so try to rotate your arms like this and you'll see if I extend my shoulder before my elbow goes out, there is a certain rotation of your arm. Elbow, then wrist. Now from here, you take your shoulder in and before you activate your elbow, there is a certain rotation with it. There, wrist. Shoulder, elbow, wrist. Shoulder, elbow, wrist. Now, if you would like to have two arms same time, and we're working now on the continuous arm movements. You have to alternate and coordinate them together. So when I use my shoulder, elbow wrist on my right side, as I collect my right arm, as soon as the shoulder goes in, this shoulder goes out and activates my elbow. So it's this moment of this coordination is very, very important. So as soon as the shoulder in, we already activate our shoulder on the opposite side to start extending our arm. Shoulder, elbow, wrist, shoulder, elbow, wrist, shoulder, elbow, wrist. Now, as I mentioned before, it's not recommended focusing on arms too much. And as I mentioned before, it's very important not to practice your arms separately from the action, but connect to the action. So come back to the, what is the most fundamental body action? It's a compression rotation. So let's say if I would like to activate my right arm, I would really focus on the compression rotation of the opposite side of that arm. That's the biggest secret. So if I would like to do my right arm, I'm focusing on my left side, squeezing, rotating, and that will activate my arm. So from here, I start working here. How do I open my arm? shoulder elbow wrist the same if i would like to collect then i will use the same side like if i would like to collect my ar right arm i will use my right side squeezing rotating to bring it out if i would like to open it open it i will use my opposite side so the same let's focus on the left arm so if i would like to open my left arm i'll focus on squeezing and rotating my right side and that will activate this arm. If I would like to collect this arm, I will use squeezing and rotating 
the left arm. And then you can use both of them. When two arms working in your head, it's kind of difficult to focus on two things at the same time. So you try to, let's say, focus on the action mainly. So focus on the action and feel like your arm is unfolding. Focus on your action, feel like the arm is unfolding. And some people, they like to feel the, uh, the arm coming in. For me, I, I prefer to feel when the arm's going out. So I will more focus on squeezing, rotating, and just let this arm open in its own pace. So this will be basic fundamental arm ideas, arm styling ideas. Like there is other positions where we hit the line. In those positions, especially for the ladies, it's very important to understand the position of your fingers. So I recommend to close your fingers like this, then open, have your middle and thumbs together and feel the stretch of your, between your fingers as much as possible, especially here, this part. Stretch your fingers as much as you can, create that beautiful, like a flower feel. Now, with this stretch, create a circle in your arms. You can point your foot, stay on one leg. Yeah, feel that stretching this. Now, leave the circle horizontally, leave the circle vertically. Now, disconnect your fingers, but maintain that stretch and power in your fingers. And just get here. This is a very helpful exercise to get to feel your fingers. Now, this kind of fingers is very good to use strong fingers for the, uh, uh, for the arm styles where you would like to finish fast positions. For example, if you put your arm on the shoulder and you wanna finish it very, very fast, it will be very nice to have it, your wrist bent and your fingers very stretched, very strong, feeling the energy. Also for some students, uh, I recommend to always have fingers like this because it's gonna give you sensation of the power in your body because on the very advanced level, of course, it's better to have a more breathing, floating wrist. But for when you just start, it's better to have actually very strong fingers to give you sensation of tone in the body because it's much easier to do a tone in your fingers rather than in your body. But body, of course, this will be number one priority. So once we practice this strong fingers here, here, and here, we can try to hit some positions. So when we hit position, it has to be finished. It has to be filled with the energy. Therefore, these fingers will be extremely important. You can finish up, you can finish side, you can finish front. So we have two styles where we arms are breathing and following the movement of your body, or we have fast positions with the strong fingers. I will do more like, um, I will do more drills and exercises on the subject so we can, you can really practice it. This is just an introductory for your arm styling and how to connect it to your body actions. Enjoy.